We started with the standby side of the unit. This is your scroll compressor, which operates during standby. I want to briefly touch on our road mode unit. This is the Bach compressor that controls your refrigeration cycle uh, during the road mode. And if you can see, you have your supply and your suction and, and, and your discharge valves, really easy access uh, to put your manifold gauges on. Um, we have this solenoid right here. This is your uh, uh, control capacity uh, regulating solenoid valve. And what this does is during startup, it takes the stress off of your compressor. So your compressor doesn't need as much torque because you have a coupling here with your solenoid. So it extends the life of your compressor. Uh, if we move down, and this is what sets us apart from the industry, our direct coupling system. We don't have the belts and the gears and the clutches and all these things that wear and have to be maintained during operation. We have this coupler that couples the diesel engine with the compressor. Here's a look at the coupler, uh, the vibe absorber right here that's inside the coupler. Now every 3,000 hours, you would slide this compressor that's on the tray, you would slide it out, uh, take out, take out the vibe absorbers, put the new vibe absorbers in, slide it back in, bolt it back down, and you're ready to go for another 3,000 hours. And if you'll notice in the shot, our muffler is different on this Isuzu engine than the mufflers in Thermo King and Carrier. This muffler runs this engine almost as quiet as a car when you're in the cities across America or abroad. And if you'll notice, the ease of access with everything with this unit. Here, you have your oil filter. Easily accessed right here for changing. Or you can go through the side. Again, easy access to change your filter, change your oil filter. Your fuel filter, right here, easy access. Your starter, right there, ease of access. We have our air filter right here. Just open this up and you're right, you're right here at your filter. Just change it, put this back on and go. These are the only two belts that you're gonna have to worry about maintaining and changing on your alternator. Um, again, there's one more thing I wanna point out. The, this bracketing right here, you won't find this on any other unit in the system. And you don't appreciate this until you have to mount or dismount one of these units. But here you can hook, you can hook in, it's supported, you can mount your unit, you can dismount your unit. You won't find this anywhere else in the industry. So these are the things that set us apart from anyone else. And, and the technician can really appreciate how easy it is to access this engine from this side, or from this side, or from the top. You can get your job done, you get in, you get out, and you're not wasting hours and time mounting or dismounting or getting here to service this engine when it needs to be serviced and maintained.